Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you're sipping with the Wine Fox. Right now, it's the day before Thanksgiving, and my husband's rolling out pie dough. We have stuff on the stove cooking and getting ready for the big day. And one of the wines that's commonly served on Thanksgiving is Beaujolais Nouveau. And this is the 2020 Beaujolais Nouveau Georges de Beauf. It is 100% Gamay, and it is the first wine of the season. It's released the third Thursday of every November, and people really, really look forward to this event because it's a very short-lived one. This wine is meant to be consumed young, so I would consume immediately. Uh, and it's probably good until maybe the third, second week of January. Then after that, the fruitiness sort of falls off and it loses its its fun, youthful zing. So this is the wine. I had it with um, pizza. Today I worked, It's the like I said, day before Thanksgiving, and I was super, super busy. And so we don't have time to cook, so we ordered really nice combination pizza. And it went great with pizza. This is not a serious wine. This is a fun wine, a wine to sip and enjoy, not really think about. Mm. Nice dark color. But what is this year's like? Okay, I get cherry. I get like a spice gumdrop. It's not sweet, but it has a candy-like quality without being sweet. I'd say there's a maybe a hint of residual sugar, but not much. It's 13% alcohol. It has a banana finish, like biting into a ripe banana. On the nose, I get that tutti fruity cherry, all fruit and maybe some herbs, like dried herbs. It's fun, it's tasty, and it's not something that's meant to be serious. You're supposed to drink it, have a good time. Again, surf chilled. And I will mention that the artist on the front label, uh, her name is Maeve Crowen, and she's based in Mendocino, California. Uh, Virginia native and every year for the past four years the winery puts on this contest um, to get onto the wine label and so she won this year and I think it's absolutely beautiful my wine sales rep dropped off a scarf but that has no bearing on this review um, I actually purchased this wine I bought it uh, because I look forward to Beaujolais Nouveau Day also um, and I will say that this year was just a really awful year. This is my first review I've posted in a long time because I sort of lost my mojo. And I figured what a great way to get my mojo back than to post a fun, casual, on-the-fly video for a fun, casual, on-the-fly wine. This is great. Um, and I will say that um, the founder uh, of the big movement of Beaujolais Nouveau, Georges de Boeuf, uh, passed away this year in February. So 2020 has just been a really awful year. But we can sip and savor and be thankful, drink fun, casual Gamay. It's 100% Gamay. Look at that dark color. <clears throat> and I have a lot to be thankful for. And I hope you count your blessings. I'll be counting mine. Um, I work today, psalming, and I'll be working tomorrow, psalming, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm really grateful to be able to do that kind of work. And this is a really fun wine. A little bit of cranberry in the finish. A little bit of tart cranberry. It's fun. Give it a try. 2020 Georges de Boeuf, Beaujolais Nouveau. And to that, I say, santé and carpe uvum.